What if I told you that one of the driest countries on earth just built a river longer than the Nile, except this river is completely invisible? Saudi Arabia is pumping millions of gallons of water underground every single day, and what they've created will blow your mind. This isn't science fiction, this is real, and it's happening right now. Saudi Arabia has always faced an impossible challenge. No natural rivers, no lakes, no freshwater sources whatsoever. It's literally one of the driest places on the planet. You'd think a country like this would be stuck in permanent water crisis mode, right? Well, not anymore. Despite getting barely four inches of rain per year in most regions, Saudi Arabia has somehow solved what seemed unsolvable. But here's the crazy part. They're not just finding water, they're burying it underground. Why would anyone hide water beneath the desert when people desperately need it on the surface? The answer is actually genius. Since 2021, Saudi Arabia has constructed 522 dams across the country. These aren't your typical dams, though. In Saudi's case, they primarily store rainwater and floodwater from wadis, those dry riverbeds that suddenly burst to life after rare rainstorms. Now, you might be thinking, how much difference can a few inches of rain really make? Actually, a massive difference. When it does rain in Saudi Arabia, it can rain hard. Flash floods occur, and if that water isn't captured immediately, it's lost forever. The desert heat is so intense that water left exposed would evaporate almost instantly. That's where the dams come in. These 522 dams have a combined storage capacity of 650 billion gallons. Just in the Mecca area alone, there are 60 dams holding 232 billion gallons of water. One standout is the Holy Dam near Mecca, built between 2003 and 2009, which can hold nearly 250 million cubic meters of water. But here's where things get really interesting. Those dams? They're actually just the backup plan. Saudi Arabia's real water source isn't above ground, it's deep below it. We're not talking about underground rivers, we're talking about underground lakes. Massive aquifers containing an estimated 26 trillion gallons of groundwater. 26 trillion gallons. That sounds incredible, right? Here's the catch. Only about 739 billion gallons per year is renewable meaning it gets naturally replenished by rainfall. The rest is what scientists call fossil water. This is ancient water that's been trapped underground for thousands, even millions of years. Water from a time when the Arabian Peninsula was actually wet, when rivers flowed and rain was frequent. Once you pump out fossil water, it's gone forever. There's no refilling it because Saudi Arabia doesn't get nearly enough rain. And here's the problem. Saudi Arabia consumes way more water than nature can replenish. The renewable groundwater doesn't even come close to covering half of what the country needs. Think about it. Water isn't just for drinking. It's for agriculture, industry, keeping parks green, washing cars, everything. The demand is enormous. Saudi Arabia also treats wastewater at 99 facilities across the country processing about 1.3 billion gallons per day as of 2019. That number is projected to grow by 4% annually until 2050. But even that won't be enough, because the population is growing too. It's like spending your savings account with no steady income. Eventually, you hit zero. So what did Saudi Arabia do? They got creative. Really creative. If nature won't give you rivers, you build your own. Saudi Arabia looked at the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf and asked, why not just pump water from there? And that's exactly what they did. But they didn't just build any pipeline, they created an underground river system stretching approximately 8,700 miles. That's longer than the Nile River, which measures about 4,135 miles and is the longest natural river on Earth. Let that sink in. Saudi Arabia built a man-made water transport system longer than the longest natural river in the world. Most of these pipelines run deep underground, which is critical for two reasons. First, it prevents evaporation. 
In a place where summer temperatures hit 122 degrees Fahrenheit, exposed water doesn't last long. Second, it protects water quality from contamination and maintains pressure over long distances. This isn't Saudi's only water network. As of 2019, they had about 78,200 miles of water supply network. But that older network mostly runs at surface level, making it vulnerable to heat, evaporation, and damage. This new Red Sea pipeline system is different. It's buried deep, functioning like an invisible river transporting water across vast distances to cities like Riyadh, Jeddah, and Mecca. Building this underground river was an absolute nightmare, in the best way possible. Engineers had to carve through the Hijaz mountains using tunnel boring machines and controlled explosions. We're talking dense granite and limestone that resisted every step. The pipes themselves, some over six feet wide, had to be laid with precision to ensure stable pressure and prevent leaks or collapse. Then there's the desert. Summer temperatures regularly exceed 122 degrees Fahrenheit, making daytime work nearly impossible. Construction crews had to work in the early morning hours or overnight. And it wasn't just the heat. Shifting sand dunes, dust storms, and occasional flash floods made every day unpredictable. But they did it. They actually pulled it off. Now here's the thing. They're pumping seawater through these pipes. But how does salty ocean water help anyone? That's where desalination comes in. Desalination removes salt and impurities from seawater, making it safe to drink. Saudi Arabia is now the world's leading producer of desalinated water. In the 1980s, they barely had any desalination infrastructure. By 2011, they had 30 plants. By 2023, that number grew to 33. And in 2024, they reached 43 facilities. The crown jewel is the Ras al Khair station on the eastern coast. It cost $7.2 billion to build, and holds the Guinness World Record as the largest desalination plant in the world. This single plant produces 792 million gallons of fresh water every single day, enough to support millions of people. Another major plant in Jubail produces 211 million gallons daily. But desalination isn't perfect. It's incredibly energy-intensive and expensive, costing three to ten times more than traditional water sources. It also creates brine, a highly concentrated saltwater byproduct that can harm marine life if not managed properly. Still, for Saudi Arabia, it's worth it. It's survival. And Saudi Arabia isn't stopping there. They've launched one of the most ambitious environmental programs on the planet, the Saudi Green Initiative. The goal? Plant 10 billion trees over the next few years and protect 30% of the country's land from desertification. 10 billion trees. Let me repeat that. 10 billion trees. This initiative aims to green approximately 184 million acres of land, creating a natural barrier against desert expansion while improving soil fertility and food security. But it's not just about fighting the desert. More trees mean better air quality. Studies show that widespread tree planting can reduce harmful airborne particles like PM2.5 by up to 20%. Cities like Riyadh and Neom are incorporating green infrastructure into their urban designs. And here's a small but significant detail. More trees can drop temperatures by almost 4 degrees Fahrenheit. In a country where street temperatures hit 122 degrees Fahrenheit, even a 4 degree drop is life-changing. As of 2024, hundreds of millions of trees have already been planted, with the number increasing every year. Saudi Arabia went from having no natural water sources to building an invisible river longer than the Nile. They're turning seawater into drinking water at a scale no other country has matched. And now they're planting billions of trees to transform a desert into a green landscape. This isn't just engineering, it's reshaping what's possible. What do you think? Could this model work in other desert countries? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video blew your mind, smash that like button and subscribe for more incredible stories like this.